destroy the HUD um, object itself. All right, so set in stage should call our make in stage HUD. And uh, let's go to our update in stage. All right, so now missions will have a clock. So why don't we jump over to the UI level? I not have the latest. All right, we've got our clock. And blue is working. Red is working. It looks like it got removed. Unranked. That's not true. It's not unranked, though. A new record, at least, though. So that's cool. Because we got Silver or the Adept tier. Yeah, alright. Oh god, I spawned in a whole bunch of bots. What have I done? Alright, well that's good enough for me. And I think I'm, I think I'm pretty much done here today. Um, I'm real tired and I need to go do a few things, so I'm gonna cut it early today. Just gonna save everything and get out of here because I'm just toast. And I assume it's it's right as soon as you get back, yeah. But uh, what I did do is, I mean. 
I don't know if you saw exactly what's going on, but I did make a screen which has a clock on it. And it's got the score on it. And it's got the, the in stage clock widget, which I made, which updates with the things. And when we go into the mission, it actually does what you would expect. this to do. It, uh, when I start the mission, the clock is there and it does count. The scores. Of course, uh, as soon as I score one one goal, this thing is going to end, so but it does have one for the blue team now. Yeah, it does what it's supposed to. And then it disappeared like it was supposed to. And it comes back when it's supposed to. And it's reset to the zeros like it's supposed to. Anyway. <laughs> there's, a, there's a drop shadow of Bitey. Uh, even though he's crouched <laughs> on the grass. Oh man, and I totally failed. Well, that's cool. We can retry. And our resize looks like it all works. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty happy with it in terms of how it is constructed and everything like that. So I'm going to clean up this test content. Well, I need to move this clock texture over into the widgets folder. So let's move that over there. And the reason I'm deleting these is I don't want to accidentally have any of these things get used incorrectly. Cool. So, it's doing what it should.
And we do have some issues there with the resizing of some of these guys with the, the dialog boxes now. Actually, the whole screen. Maybe I can fix that real quick. Is that just in? I just go to screens, bubbles. Alright, so it looks like it's doing what it should then. Alright, then I will leave it at that. I probably also need to change my build CS file to add these new UI directories that I've started with. Another thing I could do is verify that in a shipping build that everything works with UMG. That's not a bad idea. So let's boot up the uh, this thing. Make a shipping build. And make sure that it works as we would expect it to work. Just because, well, you know, I want to know if there's any issues. Might take a little bit to build a shipping build, though. But it's not like I had anything better to do, right? I'm mean, just sending some information there to Adam so that he can go look at uh, all the things and be like, all right, everything's in the UI widgets and UI screen folder. And you know, all that 
works. Let's get this built. And I've got a time limit. I've gone and scheduled myself to actually go get a haircut. So I have no excuse now. I gotta get rid of all the trash on top of my head. It's pretty funny last time I went there. The person was like, have you been wearing headphones? <laughs> I'm like, yes. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> they have this big ass divot, you know, across my head, basically. It's like, yep. So look at this built, and basically, if this UMG stuff works out here, I am going to be very happy. And there is, you know, who knows? There might be some reason to actually go, like if we have UMG stuff here for this. There might be... It might be a good idea to just go get somebody to work with us, you know, actual pay money for somebody to go do contract UI work and just be like, I need you to take all this UI and get it working in, that's in WebKit and I need you to get it working in UMG. Because if we got standard UMG stuff working, then we can actually go hire somebody for that and... I don't really want to do that because last time we had somebody else working on some of this stuff, they kind of caused all this mess. For a second there, I thought there are even more electrical types of skateboards in, in Twitch chat. But it's still the same, electrical longboard and electrical skateboard. It's just, just the two boards. If you want something done proper. Well, it's more of 
If you remember when I was back trying to mess with the UMG stuff to actually get it to work, um, I was taking the stuff that Scott had worked on because he had been basically spending like three weeks trying to get that stuff in order. So using his stuff as a starting point, the problem is he had screwed up like everything in there. Uh, so <laughs> this time I started from nothing and was like, okay, let's you know, start from this fresh and in less time than I raged last time I was able to actually, you know, get this working and, and pretty much as a result of, you know, even having working with him at all, um, you know, we would have already had the UMG stuff working on the project and all the rest of it. You know, so that's our lesson for wanting to work with other people. Just don't. Other people suck. Which, mainly the lesson is, if I want somebody to go learn a system and report back and do research on something, that's probably a bad plan. I should already know the systems that I want and have the solutions on the table ready to go otherwise when or if that person has a problem with the the thing i at least know the system will work as opposed to sending somebody off to research stuff they find the answer is it doesn't work and i'm like well that's not true because i already got it working so if we put up this shipping build i want to know if the missions work so it should load the missions and all that fun stuff. The single player is not there. Um, I am. I have been very paranoid about that, haven't I? So I think that's in the main screen. And disable missions outside of editor. Let's change that to false. Well, I'm glad I have that in there because if we wanted to push an update or something like that, it's all disabled, which is X. Single player. It's got all my right stuff. Oh, looks like our clock is working properly. It's up there. Let's make sure it updates. It does. And it means we can do something about these nameplates instead of having them be actual real world actors and crap like that. You know, we can have them actually work and be not shit. And it's going to be a massive performance increase once we get UMG switched out for all the WebKit stuff, especially on higher resolution monitors. So that's going to be it for today. So thanks for sticking around, and I'll probably be back tomorrow working on stuff. But not today. I'm just kind of drained today, so 
I'll try to recharge my batteries and get myself cleaned up. So have a good day, and thank you for sticking around. Goodbye.